Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. Finally friends, the battery on this mobile game 2.0 APK I did install in this two device and that's what I'm going to compare exactly in this video. What are the default graphics settings comparison with the Snapdragon 888 processor versus Dimensity 8100 chipset from the Realme GT2 versus Realme GT Neo 3 device. The main reason why I did concentrate on this both phones because these are the two devices which got released recently and let's see how they're actually optimized. Can you play at 90 FPS or not in this both smartphones? And one quick note, this Dimensity 8100 was able to play only 30 FPS uh, in the initial time. But right now let's observe friends after this latest update whether it got optimized or not. At least to play at 60 FPS. And in case if you want to know more details about other smartphones, I do have plenty of phones in my uh, studio right now. iQ7, Realme X and Max, Realme GT Master Edition, lot of other devices. In case if you want to know individual smartphones default graphics settings, try to go to my gaming channel and there I'll try to upload the videos on individual smartphones so there you will definitely understand friends what's happening with other smartphones as well regarding the madrigans mobile game default graphics settings check out the gaming channel so now let's get started with this kind of side by side comparison with the default settings between these both phones right now let me show you the apk which i've installed at this moment so you can actually understand so there's also official update will be available soon in the play store you can see 2.0.0 so let's observe friends between these both phones how much difference it can be there. So Snapdragon 888 processor and the Dimensity 8100 processor which is really very much optimized to play at higher settings. That's, that is what my main intention of making side by side comparison between these two smartphones right now. Let's go to the settings option first in the Snapdragon processor. So this is a Snapdragon 888 processor is the graphic settings and now unfortunately there is no 90 FPS if you observe no 90 FPS but balanced and extreme you can use hd and extreme hdr and extreme ultra hd also you can use it so till ultra hd it got completely unlocked in the realme in the gt2 realme gt2 with the snapdragon 88 processor which is same settings from the beginning to till now no settings has been changed in the realme gt2 device so the highest graphics you can play up to ultra hd settings in this device so with 60 fps you can play smooth and extreme settings or hd and extreme settings any settings doesn't matter much regarding the 60 fps but overall ultra hd it also supports in this realme gt2 with the snapdragon 888 processor that's going to be really interesting and now in the dimensity 8100 processor let's see whether this processor will be able to uh, play at 90 fps or not is it got optimized at least to play 60 fps or not so first let's go to the settings option and try to show you the graphics and audio and right now if you observe closely there is no 90 fps you can see there is no 90 fps and balanced and ultra that's also quite shocking to see and hd and ultra hdr and ultra and ultra hd is not even supported in this device that's not supported in the dimensity 8100 and there is no high settings also hd and extreme settings nothing at all so but if you want to play at 60 fps try to use the obviously that smooth and extreme settings only that's only one way you can actually play it 60 fps smooth in the realme gt neo 3 device so which is something you should definitely take care about so right now as you can see this is the quick uh, drop test which i'm trying to do exactly in the realme gt2 device right now with the snapdragon 88 processor so this is after the recent update only guys which i'm trying to do exactly in this video for the demonstration with the battery on mobile game 2.0 version you can see later i'll try to definitely compare side by side phones as well so stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested i'll definitely upload the video as soon as possible let's see how is the fps is maintaining between these both phones right now right now you can clearly see the side by side fps meter how it's kind of maintaining between these both phones 15 fps and 60 fps it's kind of maintaining between these two devices right exactly so overall you will be able to play 60 fps between these both phones but in the gt2 you do have the option of ultra hd settings that's only one advantage in the gt2 device so later on i'll definitely plan another video regarding the battery draining test epic kind of battery draining test using the realme gt neo 3 device as well so stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested so friends is a quick uh, default graphic settings comparison between these both phones and what is fps drop also will definitely able to see it exactly what's going on as well during this process of demonstration 
and another thing is that there is no 4d vibrations unfortunately still they did not allow us to play using with the 4d vibrations so it's playing around fps 58 we are getting 58 fps kind of So this is a quick demonstration friends on this uh, Realme GT Neo 3 versus Realme GT 2. I think voice changes should be kind of supported. Yes, voice changes is supported in this device. Not an issue with that. So make sure to follow my gaming channel friends for more information about other smartphones as well. Over the other smartphones as actually reacting. So 53 FPS right now we got the lowest value in this Dimensity 8100 chipset as well. Let's go. 56 FPS, 55 FPS. I can see the FPS drop happening in the Dimensity processor most of the time. Dimensity. So there's a huge frame drops are happening, friends. 56 and 55 in the dimension processor but i'll definitely compare side by side as well later on so that's not a like huge maybe just 5 to 50 fps it did drop a little bit 50 fps So right now in the GLME GT2 device, let's see what's happening in this device. So in this Realme GT2 device with the Snapdragon 888 processor, I cannot feel that much kind of lag happening at this moment. I mean, not lag, I would say nothing much major frame drops. So it was able to be like maintain pretty good. 5960 all I'm getting throughout the time. Fifty-nine and sixty FPS in release events right now. Fifty-eight FPS, as you can see, the FPS of its scale of maintaining. So in case if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below friends, definitely I will be able to help you out. And meanwhile signing off until next of more updates and overall you will be able to play at higher graphics in the Snapdragon processor, not in the Dimensity processor unfortunately. That's the thing with uh, Dimensity processor right now, which is not that optimized at this moment exactly. So this is thank you for watching us of more updates and meanwhile signing off until then. Bye.